big round of applause for Andy Lipman. It's here for Andy! Thank you, everybody. It's sometimes hard to follow an ingrown hair, so I appreciate you all staying with me here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so uh, I was reading a study the other day, and it said that laughter can cause a hernia, it can cause a collapsed lung, or even a stroke. So the good news is, none of that will happen after my routine. <laughs> I want to thank my friend Rebecca. Where's Rebecca? Happy birthday. Rebecca is here on her birthday. Give her a big hand. I'd sing the whole happy birthday thing, but I only have four minutes, Rebecca. Sorry. I want to thank the rest of my friends and family for coming out to support me, though I know most of you are probably here thinking that I have no chance of succeeding, just like the city of Atlanta has no chance of getting a hockey franchise. So I've been married to this woman right over there for the several years. That's my wife, Andrea. You can keep clapping. She'll probably love that. No. Um, so Andrea and I have two children. And the other day, I was helping our youngest Ethan with his math homework. And he's been struggling a lot with subtraction. And so I decided to relate his problems with subtraction with his love for basketball. So I said, Ethan, when you were a little boy, your highest scoring game was what? He said, 18 points. I said, all right, 18. And I said, when I was your age, my highest scoring game was nine points. And I said, so what's the difference? He said, I'm a better basketball player than you, Dad. <laughs> I said, yeah, buddy, um, you can do the rest of your homework by yourself. <laughs> and then there's my nine-year-old Avery. She's not quite the possessed teen years, but she's getting there. But Avery, we're not sure if she understands how truly fortunate she is. And so I was so excited. My wife took her to see Annie. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe she'll learn something. And she came back saying, Daddy, I am the luckiest person in the world. I was like, oh, I felt like dad of the year. I had taught my daughter in two hours all the lessons of life. Dr. Phil should be calling me for advice. And so Avery comes in. I said, Avery, so you understand now why you're so, so lucky? Because you have a great home and you have loving parents and a family, of all these friends. You're so lucky. And she looked at me and she goes, no, Dad, I'm lucky because Mommy bought me Cheetos. <laughs> wow. Kids really get it, you know? So a little bit about me. I have a lung disease. I was expecting you guys to clap. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, you sick bastards. No, I have a lung disease. It's called cystic fibrosis. And so I wasn't supposed to live long enough to attend high school. So as a youngster, I was quite mature for my age. In fact, on my sixth birthday, I took all my savings and I splurged on a sleek new cherry red Big wheel. Now that's what I call a midlife crisis. For my 13th birthday, my parents thought it was hilarious, well aware that I had a lung disease, to go out and put trick candles on my birthday cake. Yeah, you obviously know the kind. The ones where you try to blow them out and they relight. Yeah, it's a great gift, especially for someone with my problems. And so guess what? I hyperventilated, and my parents are laughing. They're laughing. And I was thinking, hey, mom and dad, how about next year, get a plastic bag, just throw it over my head, and watch me collapse to the floor. There's your entertainment. So in high school, I was taking more drugs than an 80s child star over-the-counter, mostly. Um, and while most of my friends were lettering in basketball, baseball, and football, I found a sport where I could compete with other pill-taking athletes. Shuffleboard. 
That's right. That's right. Wow, we were so good. I mean, I don't want to brag, but we came within one win of taking the state title. Congrats again to the fine folks at Sunshine Assisted Living. God, still, still hurts. So fortunately, new treatments and working out have helped me to, to live a lot longer. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But of course, there's a problem with that. Where I live, there are no adult cystic fibrosis clinics. I have to go to a children's clinic, which can be a tad bit awkward. Yeah, I'm the only patient that walks in and says, can I have my parking validated? Yeah. And make a wish, make a wish. They won't even grant my stinking wish. What is wrong with a night out at the Cheetah? <laughs> Come on, make a wish. Help me make it rain. Thank you, guys. I'm Andy Levin. Have a great night.